Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? First off, I want to say thanks on all the... First off... <laughs> you laughing, bro. First off, I want to say thanks for all the love on the last video, all the likes and all the comments. So be sure to like this video and leave a comment. Bunch of stuff happens to the Alteza in this video. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. All right, so I wanted to show you guys some of the features that the deck has. As soon as you plug your phone in, Apple CarPlay comes on and basically that's pretty much just like the iPhone is on your head unit, your deck. So you got your phone, your music, your maps, your messages and everything. So for example, if you wanted to send a message, you don't need to touch your phone anymore. You can just press message. Who do you want to send it to? Devon. What do you want to say? Yo, what are you up to, man? Your message to Devon says, yo, what are you up to, man? Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. So you don't need to like touch your phone, you don't need to text people, like, you know, you're, it's all voice command with this thing over here. It's pretty cool, you can also ask it other things, just like, what's the weather gonna be like tomorrow? Looks like it will be cloudy in Calgary tomorrow. The high will be 19 degrees, and the low will be 10. Cool, man! So yeah, and then also you could do like, give me directions to Chinook Mall. Getting directions to Chinook Center. And then the route comes up here and all you just press go and then you're good to go. Just like your phone, you know, you got maps and like, hell yeah, how sick is that? Right? Your Spotify, all your playlists, your library, super dope. All right, so I'm gonna make a bracket for uh, this license plate mounting. So the JDM plates, the holes are a bit wider than uh, North American plates. So basically I'm gonna be making a bracket that'll sit behind the plate with two holes, one bolt holding the bracket in, a hole beside it which will be holding the plate in. Well, don't mind the dirty wheels, but I'm gonna be taking the lug nuts off and giving them a fresh coat of uh, black. And then I'm also gonna be painting the center hub bore black as well, so you don't see that through it. So this is the before. Just touching up the uh, brake shield with high heat black paint. The after. Looks so much better. Front and rear. I was able to source some OEM window visors for the Alteza through a supporter actually, traded a uh, V1 hoodie for these. By the way, if any of you guys wanna trade merchandise, our merchandise for any car parts, we're always down. Since these are faded, I'm gonna be doing a couple coats of VHT nightshade. So you can still see through them, but they're gonna be more of a black color. So I ended up taking all the paint off. It was too dark for me, so I just wanted to start from scratch. I had an idea with my car. There's this pocket right in here. Don't mind that wiring there, I need to tuck that a bit better. But yeah, there's this pocket just right here and it's got a little indent on it. it goes pretty deep and it's the perfect spot for a phone, obviously. So I was thinking of uh, getting like a wireless charging pad and wiring it in so you could place your phone there and then it'll charge. Like you know what I mean? Like that. So this is basically where the charging pad is gonna sit. Quick rundown of what's going on. So I removed the 12 volt plug-in. I decided that, yeah, I'm just gonna like completely sand this and bondo it and make it flat. Cause uh, like I said, the Alteza is like a modern build. So this is a modern mod. No one likes a 12 volt plug-in just sticking out in their face, let alone the big plug sticking out of it like that. So yeah, this is, this is gonna be tucked under in a clean way along with all the wiring, but pretty much the car's 12 volt plug-in will be powering this unit that has two 12 volt plug-ins and two USBs. One of the 12 volts will be used for my dash cam, and then there'll be an open one that I could use for something else in the future, like a radar detector or something. And then this USB plug-in will be powering the wireless charger. Yeah, I was hoping to get a rectangular one, but they only had circle ones, but this one's nice and small and it's good quality, so. I'm fine with that. You're, you don't even see this while you're in the car, so this will be hidden completely. Basically, that's a rundown of how it's all gonna be wired up. Obviously, all tucked and put away clean. So 
I traced and cut out this piece of ABS plastic. Basically what I'm gonna be doing is plastic welding it to the back of this and it fits perfect like that. And that way there's something to bondo against. All right, so this is a flat black primer plus paint and I put a coat on this plastic trim piece too. Update on the wire tuck. I have the car's 12 volt plugged in right there. It's running under this piece of plastic up here and there's that adapter piece. I already have the dash cam hooked up to that. But yeah, it's going pretty good so far. Like I said earlier in the video, when you're in the car, just sitting here, you don't really see it. It's like a, it's a pretty hidden compartment. So you just take your old phone, literally just place it into the pocket and it starts charging. Look at that. Take your phone out, stops charging, put it back in. Hell yeah, that's so dope. Super stoked with this feature. What a what a great feature to have. Surprise, the car doesn't run. Well, I mean it runs, but it doesn't really drive. It needs a new clutch. So when you buy a car from across the world, you're not able to look at the car and really inspect it. So unfortunately, this one needs a clutch. It's slipping. But luckily enough, Brian at B-Pro, if there's any issues with the cars that you bring in, he's able to source parts for it too. So I got Brian to help me source a clutch, a pressure plate, and a new release bearing. And something that makes Japan so cool is their instructions. Like, oh dude, that's like the Look how awesome story. that is. There's no way you would screw these up. That's us. Hey, what you Amazon, hey. What do we got? What do we got? I don't know. It didn't ask for ID, so it's not marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we're off to rev performance where the clutch is going to get done. So yeah, the car still drives and everything, but it slips about above 40k. So, you know, you can still move it around, but definitely needs a new clutch. Check out that digital speedometer too. I love that thing. I gotta give a huge, huge shout out to Rev Performance. It's not even 24 hours later and the car is already finished. So Rev Performance definitely works really quick and has high quality work. I just took the car for a test drive and it's mint. You can go through all the gears and everything and just no clutch slipping, so hell yeah. I took off these pieces off the door. I'm gonna take the buttons out and uh, I'm gonna get Jesse to do a carbon fiber overlay over these. Interior's gonna have some nice carbon fiber accents. As you guys saw earlier in the video when I couldn't get the nightshade to look right, I got Abe to do just a light smoke film over the visors and on my fog lights. So damn, the fog's looking really good and same with the window visors. If you guys need any sort of vinyl work, wrapping, or any JDM accessories, Ape Auto Garage is the place to go to. Tofu gang. All right, I got the fog lights in. They're looking dope. Once again, big thank you to Ape Auto Garage for that. Now, just to put the uh, window visors on. What's up guys, how's it going? I just put this radar detector in my car and now we are going to do a, um, a Caso Trace One Pro dash cam. Wait, wait, see, uh, now we're gonna install the, this. Now we're going to install- Wait, wait, I was talking. <laughs> wait till I'm done. <laughs> now we're gonna install the Acaso Trace One Pro dash cam. They look pretty sick. So yeah, they reached out to us and they wanted to send us one of these. So uh, Devin's gonna put it in his car and we're gonna see how well they work. No one needs that. Who uses that shit? Ooh. Looks like it has a camera on the back and the front. Civic gang over here. You can have it just like the forward. 
or you can change it to like dual. So you can see both the front and the back. Look, there's me right there with the camera. You see that? I'm gonna film some rap videos on that thing. <laughs> so I realized that I haven't really done a general walk around of the car and showed you guys what uh, parts came with it. First off, starting with the lip kit, front lip, side skirt, and rear lip piece. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure on what kit it is exactly. I'm sure a lot of the Alteza guys that know their stuff will can leave it in the comments below. I don't see this lip too often. There's a similar one, but this one specifically I haven't seen too often. So that's that front lip is a big reason why I got this car specifically. Also a big fan of this style grill, just the mesh. I prefer it over the three bar. These Advan RGDs did not come with the car. They came with some like skinny, like six spoke silver wheels. Didn't look horrible, but they were 19s, but these ones fit mint. The car's lowered on JIC coilovers. Got dampening adjustability and height, obviously. From what I've driven the car so far, they ride really good. The exhaust, HKS Leg, what does it say? Leg, uh, Lega Max, HKS Lega Max. Exhaust, and it's a uh, cat back. But honestly, I do not like how this car sounds. It's really raspy. And uh, I just want to like deepen the sound way more because it like, sounds pretty tinny. I know that's a common Alteza thing for the exhaust to sound kind of tinny. So if any of you Alteza guys have any recommendations on how to get a bit of a deeper sound in the exhaust, leave it in the comments below. The engine in this thing is a Beams 3S GE four cylinder, two liter. It's gonna stay in here now, for now. It will come out in the future, but I'm gonna keep it in here for a bit because it's pretty much like 90s Honda fuel economy in a cool JDM car. There's this trust intake filter here. Interior is pretty standard. The steering wheel, I already have a hub, so I need to find a nice wheel that will suit the style that I'm going for because that's very worn out. That's about it for the general walk around of the car. Really nice looking car. It is just intended as a uh, daily, so not gonna go super crazy overboard with it, but it's gotta look nice and all that stuff. And if you haven't noticed yet, I'm from California. All right, so thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified. Check out the links in the description and follow all of us on Instagram. Peace.